Hello, it's Simon at Vans today in Worcester. I'm giving you a quick video walk around of this 2017 on a 17 plate. It's a Toyota Hilux Invincible Automatic. Uh, one keeper from new arrived in with us from Toyota Leasing. Um, great specification vehicle, as you can see, with a colour-coded Truckman hardtop on the back of it. Uh, that alone will save you approximately £2,000. Um, you can also see it has had a recent set of BF Goodridge all-terrain tyres on it all round as well. Uh, so those alone will have set you back about £600 for a set of tyres, uh, if not a little touch more on the, uh, on the Hiluxes. Um, so Invincible being the great specification, uh, as I say, one keeper from new. Um, this is, there's a couple of minor cosmetics on this as we go around. Um, it's been a countryside truck rather than a city truck. Um, so um, a couple of minor, minor marks. We'll show you as we go around, have a look at it and see what you think. Looking up there onto the roof, hopefully you can see nice and straight, no dents or dings, um, all as it should be. Coming down onto the windscreen, a uh, couple of minor, minor stone chips on the windscreen, nothing major, nothing that is MOT failure wise. Just a couple of minor chips down here onto the bonnet. Uh, bonnet is nice and tidy. Uh, no real chipping. They don't. They're not particularly known for chipping up these Hiluxes. If we're being particularly fussy, we have a little bit of a mark on the bonnet there. Um, not sure what that is to be honest with you, but there is a mark on there. Front grille, all in good order. Passenger headlamp unit. Uh, as you can see, you have the upper LED light here. Uh, they are automatic lights on the vehicle as well. And we also have front passenger uh, fog light, all in good order as well. Headlamp wash there. And then the front bumper corner as a whole, hopefully you can see in lovely condition with no scuffing on it at all. Uh, this vehicle has just come back from our detailer, so it has just had a uh, full machine polish uh, being the darker metallic colour um, it's uh, always better to get that done before we sell them so BF Goodridge all-terrain tyres as you can see loads of tyre tread depth on those the wheel itself uh, is in pretty good condition it's not immaculate um, just a couple of minor marks on the facial of the wheel uh, it's a lovely green metallic hopefully you can see in this light it's got a lovely green fleck to it uh, now I'm going to, sunlight's going to play habit with my shadow, isn't it? So we're looking at the passenger front wing there, cosmetically all good. Passenger mirror unit itself. So, oh, sorry, uh, wasn't quite out properly. So it is secure, as you can see, uh, and the indicator's all good. Mirror unit itself is all good. Passenger front door. Uh, we have a minor, minor, like a little bit of hedge rash of a scratch there. We might be able to do something with that with a little bit of lacquer and a touch-up stick, but there is a mark there. Uh, there is a mark there that's been touched up, and obviously you have chrome uh, door handle. It is keyless entry and ignition on this one, so this button here does all of your opening as long as you've got the key in your pocket. Looking behind your door handle, it's not too scratched, not too, too many nails in there and stuff. Um, ever such a light amount of hedge rash just on your black plastic there. From a distance you're not particularly going to notice it on a sunny evening like we've got this evening then obviously the sun does highlight all of these minor bits on it. Rear privacy glass on the back doors and then coming down onto your back doors again all pretty good on your back doors. We have a little bit of a parking ding there uh, I'm not convinced my dent man can get it out, but if he can, we'll uh, we'll get him on it. And then obviously another chrome handle, all in good condition behind your handle there as well. What have we got there? We've got a little stone chip there. We can get that touched in for you. Protective, uh, uh, um, yes, whatever the protective stuff is they put on the arches. Um, you have it here and you have it here and we have it up here on the vehicle as well. Uh, rear tub, obviously, as I said, we've got the colour-coded Truckman hardtop on it with side-opening windows. And the rear tub itself, 
in pretty good order. Nothing particularly to point out to you from a condition point of view there. Rear alloy wheel this side. Again, a couple of minor marks on the fascia. Uh, nothing too much. And again, tyre has loads of tyre tread depth on there as well. Uh, Toyota rear mud flaps, as you can see. Uh, rear light unit, passenger side, all in good order. Passenger side, chrome rear bumper has a little mark there on the chrome. Stand back. Can't really see it, but it is there. And if we look down the passenger profile of the vehicle, hopefully you can see, other than those minor marks that we pointed out, it's in pretty good condition. To be fair, if you have a look at the vehicle, if I stand back and try and get my shadow out of the way, hopefully you can see. It's a good looking vehicle on the side, isn't it? Um, yeah, it's, uh, it, looks, it looks pretty damn good to me. Um, we'll show you interiors in a second. Let's get the outside of it done. So as I say, Truckman hard top on the back end. So rear of the vehicle, obviously rear tailgate. You do have a reverse parking camera on this vehicle as well that comes up on your display on your dash. There is your reverse parking camera there. Obviously you've got your chrome handle here. Uh, Truckman hard top as I say. So Truckman hard top and the, uh, and the rear tub tailgate. It has a hard plastic protective strip along here. The protective strip has some marks on it. Um, but it's done its job. In fact, that's, that is just a little bit of um, something that will actually peel off, to be fair. But as you can see, bits of the plastic strip have done its job. Top of the rear tailgate, always, always, always for the worst part on a, uh, on a pickup truck, aren't they? So, yeah, it does have those marks on it at the top. Rest of the tailgate's in pretty good condition. Inside, as you can see, we've got a genuine Toyota load liner in it. And then side opening windows. Now, uh, it has had, I would imagine at some stage, dogs in the back. Doesn't smell of dogs, but over here, um, I'll be quite honest with you, we had to repair the window rubber uh, and underneath it, the um, uh, can you see where we've uh, used um, tape to repair the lining of the of the hard top? I'd rather point you out all of the bad bits as well as the good bits. And obviously, as you see here, just on the upper edge of the hard top, there are nicks out the headlining there as well. Um, so it's not without its minor marks, it has done a job. It's not done a heavy job, but it has done a job. And if we look down in between, this could do with a bit of a clean up to be fair. Um, however, in between your rear tub and your tailgate, the paintwork isn't all battered and scratched and full of mud and sand and concrete, etc., etc. It's not done that kind of a job. I think it's just done a bit of a country estate type of job, basically. Uh, we believe it was out on lease to a country estate. Um, so, rear, um, rear tub tailgate inside, again load linered and in good condition. Um, so, there's that. Rear tailgate itself, there are no I mean, okay, there's a, ever such a slight little ding there on the tower gate, but it's, it's definitely not one that you're going to massively notice. Uh, back end of the vehicle. Uh, so the rear step side of it, it's not had too many heavy boots going in and out of it. That's all in good condition. We have a tow pack on the back end as well. Chrome rear bumper on the driver's side, as you can see, has couple of dings in it as well um, again from a distance not massively noticeable personally I wouldn't bother getting it done if it was my truck um, but they are there rear mud flaps obviously driver's side driver's side alloy wheel 
Again, not perfect, but not in bad condition either. Again, another BF Goodridge all-terrain uh, tyre on it as well, with loads of tyre tread depth. Inside your arches there, hopefully you can see all okay. Uh, say rear mud flaps. No. Oh, to close the door so you get a better view. So view driver's side, going down the side of the vehicle. Again, no major dents or dings to point out to you. Driver's side rear tub quarter, in good condition. Nothing to point out to you there. Hard top up there. Uh, driver's side rear door. Uh, again, sunlight's playing havoc. So there's a couple of minor, minor marks here. Can you see if I get up close? Mm, there, it's probably showing at you in the worst light, but as you can see, I'm having to search for it. If we go from a distance, not massively noticeable, but they are there. Behind your door handles, etc., all good. And then driver's door, a couple of marks on the driver's door as well. This sunlight is not playing well with my videoing, is it? So driver's door, can you spot the marks? There are some on there. If I show you them up close. So we have, we do have a scratch there that has been touched up and we have a couple of stone chips there that has been touched up as well. Uh, one there, and one there. So it's along the top of the door there. You can move the video camera along. Can you see them? Again, they're not stand out, but they are there, and I would rather point them out to you. Mirror case, etc., all good. Um, behind your door handle, etc. There you go, all good. And then driver's side front wing. Again, all good. Driver's side front bumper corner, fog light unit and headlamp, all good. No scuffing, etc. Driver's side other wheel. Again, another BF Goodridge all terrain tyre. Low tyre tread depth on there. And then we show you inside the vehicle. Driver's door card rear. Uh, overall, pretty good condition. In the door pockets, nice and clean. Uh, coming down here, the entry seals and plastics are okay. We have a minor little mark. In actual fact, it's do with just some uh, plastic dressing on there. Rubber mats in the vehicle. Uh, I think these have been in the vehicle from new. Ah, oh, that's sunlight. Back of the driver's seat, should we start off with there? <laughs> Try and start off with the bits where the sun is not destroying the video. Back of the seat down here, all good seats in the back of the vehicle again all good you do have rear iso fix on this hilux headlining all good i think behind here do we have a couple of cup holders in your armrest there as well back of here is not too unduly scratched your carpet is not encased in mud etc underneath your mats just so you can have a look just half it's all clean driver's side driver's side door card door card itself all good I have a couple of minor marks where we've just been getting in and out of it at the garage from one of you the, the, the interior could do with another quick re-clean so we've just run around in it a little bit if I'm honest here this week um minor minor bits of wear and tear on your door card there um, seating driver's seat coming down overall not in bad condition we have a little bit of fluff here on the seat uh, we can probably get rid of that driver's side seat squab isn't in bad order the plastics etc down there aren't in bad order entry sill painted down here all good, plastic seal, rubber mats in the front here as well. Um, as I say, Hilux rubber mats, uh, carpet underneath is all good. Buttons here, we have power heat here. 
we have lane departure warning system and I have no idea what that one is but we've got the button there uh, we'll have to have a look in the booklet for that one won't we um, the left hand side is your bonnet pull and the right hand side is your fuel filler this side here we have electric windows and electric mirrors uh, the mirrors are foldable they have just both folded in if I press that button again you'll see they both fold out so electric foldable mirrors electric windows and your normal electric mirrors there as well nice bit of chrome finishing on your dashboard top of your dash is all nice and tidy leather quite a nice chunky leather steering wheel multi-function as well you do have cruise control here uh, you have your driver information system on here so i'll just show you that at the moment we have these are your lights we put the lights back on automatic in the inner part is for your front fog lights these are for your uh, front lights uh, they are now back on automatic so on the dashboard just tells me we're going to put a bit of ad blue in but we'll do that obviously before it goes out uh, in fact we're just going to shove it into toyota for a quick health check um, so they can uh, have a look through there uh, we have range obviously not a lot in it at the moment uh, various computers don't worry it does do more than 10 miles to the gallon 9.8 miles to the gallon when I parked it up here to take photos and do the video, I zeroed everything. So it's just been ticking over here. Obviously, that doesn't do the, your range any good. Uh, the computer's just telling us that the door's open. Uh, we need fuel in it. Lane departure warning system sign here. Uh, Add blue is here. Temperature gauge here. Fuel gauge is over here. Um, 31,279 miles. Uh, it's got a Bluetooth telephone and Bluetooth music. If I engage reverse gear, um, there's your reverse camera and there's your tow bar so you can get right up to your trailer using that as well. Uh, got quite a nice sort of uh, touch screen setup going on here as well. Uh, you do have, I believe, DAB. Let's get to your media. Uh, it's off at the moment. So we have DAB, FM, AM on the stereo. You have auxiliary input as well. And there, as I say, Bluetooth telephone and Bluetooth music. Uh, climate control down here uh, selectable four-wheel drive system is here uh, and then we have a uh, two power points here and here we have your rear diff lock we have your hill descent control uh, we have your electronic stability program and we have another usb power there a couple of cup holders there automatic gearbox very minor bits of wear on the silver part of your gear lever there it's the bit that you grab onto every time you get hold of it uh, here we have an eco mode and we have a power mode and then obviously your normal auto gearbox. Gearbox drives lovely. Up here we have your sunglass holder and internal lights. Um, and in here we have uh, more power. Uh, we do have a little bit of a rip here on the armrest. Uh, I'm going to run it past my trimmers, see what we can do in order to get a new little panel. Just sewed into that for you because it's... Uh, I would imagine a faux leather. Don't sue me if it's not leather. Uh, it looks like leather. I'd suggest it probably isn't. Uh, rest of the dashboard, top of the dashboard over here. All good. I'll go around to the passenger side so you can have a proper look around there. Boot uh, bonnet release is here. Just pop that bonnet. Show you underneath the bonnet as well. Uh, the bonnet release is just above your badge, just to the right. And there it one handed. Now then, having a look under your bonnet, your wing bolts, uh, sorry, bonnet bolts, etc. over there, all the original paintwork, good old big battery there, uh, the paint is very there, that's nice and clean, your coolant, as you can see, is nice and clear. Uh, surfacing wise, any surfacing due will get done on it before it goes out, uh, great power steering fluid is there as well, and there's no sign of so anything going on here obviously this vehicle does come with the balance of the Toyota five-year warranty with it um, we're just popping it into Toyota for a quick health check uh, I've just got to get it booked in with them a uh, rear door card passenger side a couple of minor marks on the plastic there and then entry steps and plastics this side again pretty good rubber mats in the back back of the passenger seat clean and tidy rear seats this side all good 
So apart from that centre armrest, it's a pretty good nick inside. And then entry points this side, uh, a little bit scuffed where we've been getting in and out of it this week, but on the whole, not bad at all. I can't believe how much I've rabbited on on this one. Passenger door card this side, all good. And then passenger seat this side again, clean and tidy with no major signs of wear and tear. Um, there are two remote control keys with this vehicle as well. Um, and that's about it, I think. So basically, as I say, one keeper from new, 31,000 miles, come from Toyota Leasing, um, all kitted out to work for you. If you're buying a truck to work for you, it's got it all on it already, hasn't it? The hard top, the tow pack, the BF with your dual terrain tires, automatic as well, who wants a manual one of these. Um, warranted miles from Toyota, balance of Toyota, five year warranty. So you're still gonna have warranty on it until at least March, 2022. Depends on when it was first registered. Uh, 70 odd photos very shortly on our website. Uh, we are Vans Today Worcester based in the center of the country. You can contact me on 01905 672 080 or you can email me sales at vanstoday.com. Hopefully that is a pretty comprehensive video walk around for you. If you require any further information, please feel free to get in touch.